I recently returned from the meeting of the American Academy of Religion in San Diego, which is a gathering of about 15,000 scholars and students in theological education. And this year we had organized two sessions to focus on uh, issues of gender-based violence. One was sponsored by the Feminist Liberation Theologians Network and the other by the Women's Caucus of the American Academy of Religion. And in each of the sessions, we had a very rich and productive conversation and pretty much uh, concluded, the uh, 100 or so people who attended, pretty much concluded uh, agreement on uh, three areas. One is that theological education is absolutely critical in the preparing of women and men for ministry so that they will be able to address issues of gender-based violence in their ministry settings. We also agreed that this effort has to be more than a one day a year uh, focus or one week out of one class or any other very minor attempt to address the issues. That in fact the issues of gender-based violence, sexual and domestic violence need to be integrated into the curriculum uh, across disciplines in theological education and that that's the only way that it will ever be effective in the preparation of students. But finally we agreed that we also need to find ways to support and network with each other, particularly for those who are out there teaching in uh, various settings. Because one of the things we found them expressing in the meetings was a, a real sense of isolation in what they're trying to do. So these will be concerns that we will be working on here at Faith Trust during the next year uh, to find ways to better support the work in theological education uh, to move the agenda forward in addressing gender-based violence. Finally, at the American Academy, President Jimmy Carter spoke to the entire convention and urged uh, the participants to attend to the intersection of women, religion, and violence. He was drawing on his new book by that title. And uh, he gave an eloquent uh, call to all who were involved in theological education that this is an important item on the agenda. And so the question I came to the sessions with, how can an item, an experience as common as gender-based violence not be on the agenda of theological education, I think now can be answered by the efforts that we make to ensure that it is on the agenda of theological education. So that for any of us who are preparing uh, others for both teaching and for ministry, that we do so in a way that prepares them for, in fact, what they will see in either setting. The need will be great for working with victims, survivors, and perpetrators. And we have the capacity through theological education to make a huge difference in that effort. Thank you very much.